Hello. Tomorrow. Ooh, I'm screaming again, probably. <laughs> I still don't see myself on on my screen. Do you hear me? No. Now I see that I'm on. Hello, Janet. Linda, Linda 1, Linda 2, Linda 3, Gail, Matt Sonart, Jody, Tracy, Paula, Mina. Mina, did I did I say Mina? I don't know. Flourishing Artistry. Hello Amadei. Pocket Journal with Amadei is my son. Amadei. Uh, <coughs> and this is my clock. <laughs> um, just wait that it will tell you how, uh, which hour is here. So, um, if somebody, if somebody, Amadei is a Pokemon fan, still. We, we used to have a lot of Pokemon cards when he was young and he is still a fan. And he's, he is starting her his YouTube channel. So if somebody wants to click some subscribe button on his channel, you are more than welcome and I would be grateful for that too. It's totally out of our zone, but just if somebody wants to support him in a way. Uh, so... Uh, back to our pouring. So I have quite some paintings to show you this week. No, first I have to show you that failed experiment from last week. With my water kind of that didn't work. And it was, uh, you know, a sky first and then water. I don't know. I will probably do something with this part. If... This reflection thing will work. Maybe I can do one on this one too. Even if it's dry. But otherwise it dried really beautiful. You see? So this is this one that I didn't like. And on Monday... I tried another one that um, I used less less color for the, the, the sky and it kind of turned out really nice. What I like with this technique, as many of you said too, it's kind of um, it kind of looked like an abstract painted art for my taste. I don't know. And I have a reflection again. Just a second to see if this will be better. No. Even worse. <coughs> okay. We'll have to leave with that. If uh, It's okay like that, but if I bring it closer, I see a lot of reflection. So, I really like this kind of impressionistic style of of these paintings, even though they that they are fluid art or acrylic pouring, they look like I don't know. Um, I love this technique. So hello Doris, hello Angie, hello Shannon. Um, so and since I'm with this technique today, I will just try to do kind of similar thing. But I will try to do a reflection. So I will do half part of the flowers and half part, kind of, not exactly, of a water, kind of, again. And then I will use the same napkin that I will use on my pattern, if this makes sense. I will lift it up and try to put it down on the water side. If this makes any sense, <laughs> and uh, 
I hope that I will have some of this pattern on that side too. So, or if I talk like that. So I will do a napkin like that, lift it up, hopefully not ruin everything and put it back down on canvas and then lift it up again. And then I will see if this will work okay, I will leave it. But if it, it, if it will not, I have those comps, they are comps. Hello Linda Gutowski, hello Grace, Joella, Jen, Jan, Jen, Mam Gusi and Jen. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Dark Art Lab, I'm yelling, hello Jelka. Uh, Raiko just said to me that some of you subscribe to Amadeus channel, so thank you, thank you, thank you. Because okay. you know it's hard to start with YouTube channel, so every support is great. Uh, so if this will not work, or even if it will, I don't know, I will go with my feeling. I will try to do some, you know, like waves or something for in the reflection. Rain Harvey, hello. So Nan, Nan say, oh, hello. So we will see. This is the plan. And back to the dry paintings from this week. What did I did next? I don't know. Probably it was... The thing with the bloom technique and pearl white that didn't work. You see? Uh, no lacing. Raiko, Raiko like this one. I don't know. I, <coughs> I'm just not a fan of this one, I will say. Colors are amazing. With, these are these little piggy pigments. These pigments are really, really beautiful. Hello, Kim. Hello to Turkey. And uh, after I filmed that, I just did some swipe with this, this little piggy pigments. And these are, uh, I think that it's stuffy and mermaid. And those pigments are amazing. And I kind of like this swipe because it's like a tree or something, you see. It's just on those, you know, wooden panels that I love to use. Uh, these pigments are amazing, I will say, because here are a little bit, they lose a little bit of the shimmer because, probably because of my pearl white, I assume, you know, because I was trying if I will get some lacing, but... This was that experiment, but pigments are amazing. This is my... Uh, and then I tested this um, ultimate pouring. Ultimate pouring thing. And I, I want to tell you a little more about this product. Um, okay. Thank you, Linda, and thank you, Linda, too. I don't have any questions, but I'll ask him to write it on Facebook. Just talking to Raiko, <laughs> something. So, <coughs> for the ultimate pouring thing, I bought it because I want to try it, because I love Nancy Wood and I love her creation, so I really want to try it, too. Um, so, but, not so, it works amazing, as you can see. These are Pebeo iridescent paints, so they, they are beautiful, and they, it, you can stretch this really nice, but for half a liter of pouring medium, and this little catalyst thing, you know, one ounce of catalyst. I think that it's pretty expensive. <clears throat> this is my opinion. 
<clears throat> because um, when you're trying something, you know, you, 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 I don't know, it says that you, you have enough paint to do 12 by 12 inch canvas. Okay. So you spend for the material without paints about $50 for 12 by 12 inch canvas. Pretty expensive for me. And when you're trying some things, um, you don't have a success right away. So you, you waste some paint. So this is the only thing that I have to say that I... I don't like about that but otherwise it works really well and uh, I tried one with blowing it out you know that I'm not good with this blowing thing but just to show you that it worked so this is ultimate pouring thing a lot of experiments this week <laughs> and then I don't know which day I did this painting that I really like uh, and I have to tell you this <laughs> when I published this in one of my uh, not one in my <laughs> <laughs> Raiko didn't know what is with this piggies and I told him that this is the brand of 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 the pigments um, and about this story about this painting when I publish it on my business page Fiona's art box somebody commented beautiful painting Mina so it is like a Mina style and I really like those little gold cells here. Do you see them? Uh, and I had some problems. I did some loopy loops, you know, I like these loopy loops. And then I didn't like this part. But at the end with the marble, I think that I get this kind of wave look here that it's okay now with this white. So. I really like this painting, but it's it's really Mina. <laughs> I should name this painting Mina. Okay, this is this one. And then I just did these double dips that didn't turn out nice. I don't know, I, I'm just not happy with those two. Uh, that I have white and black background and some pigments but probably I had too much base paint my my mistake but you know we all make mistakes and I did too but the pigments here are really beautiful and then I try to do this kind of thing with the paper napkin with those pigments and ultimate pouring uh, it's busy I just want to see if I will get some lacing that's why it's just <coughs> on this uh, panel you know because I but didn't dry as good as I hoped but I have some paints here mixed with ultimate pouring and some paints with untinted house paint base untinted base and uh, min wax polycrylic so it was you know, mixture of different pouring mediums. So, this is it. This is this. And yesterday, uh, and yesterday I did this spiral reverse flower dip again. After a long time, it's not dry yet, so it's still on my... I will just try to show you this copper. I lost a lot of red, but this copper stands out really nice, so I don't know. And I love, love, love this middle 
I will definitely do more more of spirals um, Andy for which ones do I have videos I don't know for which one you are asking I have more than 700 videos so <laughs> probably you can find uh, yeah, my day, my day. Um, you will find um, pretty much everything that <laughs> you can accept. You will find some Dutch pours too, but not successful ones. Uh, but probably I did every technique that it's somebody tried some of the techniques. I will say that they are mine because this reverse flower dips uh, are mine. Not mine. We don't know the technique. It's not. It's. It was the right. It wasn't the right word. Um, I don't know. Uh, so this is the last one dried, not completely, from this week. And now to the to today's project. Uh, I was thinking that I will not use as big canvas because just don't know how this will work uh, and I'm still not I think that I will do it that way because I think that this way will not be or or this way which way landscape or what do you think? Which way we should do this reflection? Landscape or I don't know the, 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 the other word. Portrait. Portrait or landscape. Thank you, Tracy. Landscape. Couple mm -hmm. men's day. Buffer. Mm -hmm. Sorry, buffering a little bit. Landscape, landscape, landscape. Yes, Doris, gives more room, but maybe it will really look better on, on landscape. <clears throat> I'm yelling all the time, Raiko says. <laughs> when I uh, when I talk to somebody on FaceTime or something I yell all the time because when I talk to the machine I always yell so <laughs> and here I'm talking to my camera so I'm yelling probably okay so to the colors so let's do landscape we can try other way tomorrow so I will use the same greens as I did last week because I like this is olive green deep Amsterdam this is olive green light Amsterdam and for the flowers I will use the same colors that I did for my spiral so I will use um, Alizarian Crimson from Artist Colors and Pebeo iridescent copper and deco art not extreme sheen yes deco art extreme sheen gold and of course my pearl white and I will use some black too and for the water kind of I'm not good at this skies and water I just grab this um oh, just a second to find the uh, okay so this is <laughs> this is Amsterdam greenish blue no I'm just trying to show the consistency this will be okay? No. no. It will be okay. This is greenish blue and I have this Liggy this Liggy 
These piggy pigments, two of them, just have to find one is a mermaid, of course, and one is blue eyes, I think. I will use these two mermaid and blue eyes, two. So, those are my colors. And I have some white for just flood my can canvas that it will not be dry. And I will add this white all over. This is just titanium white by Amsterdam. And I have to be careful not to add too much. Probably. I always have this problem. But if it will be too much, I can do my sides because last time I didn't and now I will have to paint them when they will be dry. I will just push a little paint. Push, push. Um, oh, Olympics is over. We got three gold medals, Slovenia. But uh, I was hoping that we will play boss basketball against United States in final, but an, unfortunately France come in semi-finals on our way and then for the bronze medal, medal Australia win, so we ended up fourth, but for this little country that Slovenia is, this is a big success. We, we were first time on Olympics with our basketball team, so I think we did quite a good job. But I was hoping that I will tell you today, yay, Slovenia beat United States in basketball. <laughs> Not happened. Maybe next time. Because uh, I believe in our athletes. I did uh, watch quite a lot of uh, uh, all that uh, our athletes were competing and a lot of other others too. So congrats to all the athletes from all over the world because to win a medal on Olympic Games, it's a big success, I think, an achievement, so. Okay, probably I even have too much white, I don't know. So let's do some green, olive, dark olive green first. I have a glare from the side, Reiko. Just a second. Just a second. Better. Yeah, na to da za menove ni pusti da ki ono. It's always hard, you know, because it's dark here, and so now I will concentrate so I I think that I want a little more green than than I'm thinking about composition because I don't have a lot of room for reflection and I'm not sure let's do kind of a little more of greenery than Oh, this was. Thank you, Mina. <laughs> okay, let's do some pearl white for the lacing. Maybe I should do just pearl white for a background. <laughs> and a little more, a little. Of olive green light. Oop. I 
I didn't tell you the size of the canvas probably. This is 10 by 12 or 10 by <coughs> Sorry, 10 by 12, yes. I'm working on 10 by 12 inch canvas. And I will add some of this extreme sheen gold in the background too because I like it. Next, last time, not the next time. And I will add a little bit of black here and there just to contrast this. Just some contrast and I will add a little more of this. So, and now to the flowers. And I will start my flowers with black too. We talked with Doris from Doris A. Doris A T D F. I don't know how to pronounce that. I, I forgot Doris, sorry. Uh, that uh, maybe we should use some black in this too. So let's do that. Let's start with black. We talk about leaves, but I will I will try to to do uh with flowers too so let's start with black just to have some you know separation maybe i think that this was a good idea doris and i will do one like that i kind of like that um ones that looked like you know just i don't know like um, not those round ones so i will do more of just those dots kind of okay and then will be my pearl white so you know this black is just for separate this hopefully hopefully i don't know I am experimenting for the first time life again. But it's kind of oh, nice to experiment life with you. And then I will add this Lizarian crimson. I like this dark red color. I really do. I was a little Disappointed that it uh, disappeared quite a lot on my flower dip, but spiral flower dip. But I will know for the next time. Okay, and I will add gold next. This 24 karat gold instead of white. <laughs> My pearl white mixture is Vallejo pearl medium mixed with Amsterdam titanium white. You can find a link to my mixing paints video into the description box of this video. With all the measurements and everything and at the end I will add this copper. I hope that it's not too much gold now and it will hope that it will not disappear in this background. Hopefully. So I will add some pearl white and red again because I'm afraid that it will disappear. Maybe not, but let's do that. This one is a big one. I didn't mean to have this big one, but okay. Let's finish this with red. I'm really afraid about the bottom part. I don't know. So let's do some kind of leaves too. So 
So I will start with black again for the leaves too. And pearl white. I have enough gold so I will not use any gold in this. And the olive green. Let's do the no olive green. Uh, I know that this kind of leaves uh, disappear, disappear, but just to have a little more solid green, maybe on some parts, I don't know and the olive green light and I will use dry paper napkin today because I think that for this technique it's better because you don't need to have your paints flex uh, your napkin flexible so let's drizzle some of these pigments I think that I have too much white for a base here, I don't know. Let's see. And I will add <laughs> some pearl white too. Just in case. And adds up. I didn't mean to add this. Uh, blue green there I want to have it more on this side and just a little bit there maybe and the mermaid oh and I mix these pigments with my pouring medium today they are not any special mixtures they are just mixed with my pouring medium okay Let's grab a napkin. And okay. Okay, pozdrowa. Mats and Arty. Of course I can. <laughs> Hello, baby boy, Cameron, 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 Cameron. I don't know how to pronounce that, Cameron. A, A O, yes, Cameron. I think that <laughs> I, I pronounce it right. Hello to baby boy. I'm glad that um, youngsters likes to watch. Grandma paint too. This was not the best. But now it is what it is. So I will touch this. And I'm concerned about this part, you know, when I will, because I will lift it towards the middle and then I have to lift it up, put it down the right way that I will not mess it up. So let's see if this will work at all. So let's do like that. Okay. Oh. Up. No. Yeah, it is the pa beach canvas panemra. Ah. Oh. No. 
You see, I didn't do a good job here. Nem rám zdej, kromě potíř na celo. Co se potíř zdívne? Pomáhá. To je něco málo, milimetr, pod milimetr. Dobře. Má. I will, I don't know, do something here. I don't know what. This is, this was a tricky part, obviously, you know, to get this middle right. If I would be Kathleen, I would probably do a swipe then, but I'm not. Oh, and this is not... No! I was hoping that I will have less color here. I will turn it around that you will see it the right way. You see this part is a problem, definitely. Have to figure out. If I was thinking, even if I would have two, you know, separate once I when I would leave that one and if I would have two it will get this weird looking part anyway so I'm open to any suggestions last week I asked you about I'm yelling again about what you think how to do it differently and I got a lot of um, useful tips so feel free to do it so I'm just thinking what do you all think should we use this or we will ruin it completely. Thank you, Susan. Thank you, everyone. Ripples, yes. Dip the middle part. No comp. <laughs> no comp. It is kind of a wave or something. If I wouldn't have this solid color, so I will just try to do some finger painting here. What if I go like that? Transke camera. If I try to dip this one towards the middle and then the other one towards the other side. Let's see. I love finger painting. I just can't paint with the brush. I can't paint with the cup and the napkin and the f and fingers, but I can't paint with the brush. Okay, and I have to turn them around and do the same way towards the middle, the middle, the horizontal. How can I say? Um, I will definitely try tomorrow with uh, a portrait uh, orientation because I think that I need a little more space. That I think that this is the best solution for this part. To kind of and I will go just once more in some parts 
there because now it looks like kind of a flower uh, a flower a wave or something so I will turn it around um, just a second which are in Kiro Mash Gorno the name Kiro Stramnai Obornem Raiko and as you can see if somebody were some of you were uh, were concerned about the black you see no black just I think that I get a little more depth or something I don't like this part there but I don't know how to fix it always one part that bothers me to the that stage that I'm I sometimes ruin the painting with fixing it but I have to do something with this part okay better it looks this this um, probably the second um, layer of pearl white and the second layer of um, red wasn't the best idea because those look like they are not they are not looking as much mm -hmm. like a flowers as I was hoping for so um, I will try to bring you a little closer They are too round or something. What if I do some finger painting there too? Because the second uh, pearl white created that. So I didn't do a good job with that. So I will just turn it towards me. I kind of like this bottom part. <laughs> So I will just try to, you know, to break those ones that are too, too round for me. Just Oop. a little okay when you do your finger painting just don't drag your finger to the, the canvas you know you, you just dip it into the paint and drag it over the other colors not completely towards them to the can canvas because you will lose all the pattern that way this one a little bit think it's better now let me turn it around your orientation so I will wash my hands tell me what you think Okay. 
I I'm just thinking because we have some time what if I try on this little board one do with this uh, ripples mm -hmm. on the bottom just to see what happened and I will bring you back uh, uh, for the close-up at the end of the the life so I will Remove this one and I just washed my hands and I will be again My hands are wet so I will not be able to put my gloves on right now so Uh, just need some cups to put this on. <laughs> These ice cream cups are good for that. Okay, I can bring you a little closer. Just a second. Okie doke. So I will not add I will add just really tiny bit of white this time. I have to be careful with. I will put my gloves on. Thank you so much, Dark Lights Art Lab. <laughs> you are always, always so. Nice and a lot of you, you know. I, I really, I'm really over the moon with all your support in any way, you know. Just to be with me and share this um, journey with me, it's an honor. So, for me, so I will really add just a little bit of white because I do add a lot of paint after but uh, with um, these MDF boards they will soak a little bit so but not as much that I would think that I need to prime them because just have to have this in my mind okay so let's do some greenery here I will try to do this a little faster maybe <laughs> because it's just I will not pay a lot of attention to the composition not composition to you know just trying to do a little faster with this flood those flowers and everything that it will not be as long okay so, let's add just some black and I will do maybe just two of those flowers and some dots and this will be it. And I will start with black but this time I will not do that um, uh, last Coral white and I will finish with copper and see what will happen. So pearl white <coughs> because I think that it was mm, too much pearl white in the flowers. And Kappa? No, which is not any big camera talking. Yeah. And the Lizarian Crimson and the gold. I was afraid that gold will take over and then pearl white take over. So let's do gold and copper and this will be it for the blooms or flowers. Oh, 
Hopper. Hop. Ok. Qua qua. Some black for the leaves. that we didn't saw a lot in the previous painting so I will just add the dark olive green and light olive green maybe I should switch that okay and I will just dip this a little bit in the middle because I think that I need to I do it to separate or whatever. Uh, definitely need have to add less of the greenish blue, some pearl white. Oop, just a little bit. <laughs> A little more here maybe blue eye and mermaid they look similar these two pigments but they are not okay now to the napkin <coughs> I was quick <laughs> Premiero. Oh, I totally forgot. Yes, Sarah Mac has a premiere at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And um, Mossy Art Studio Spicy Boys has an have an auction. I think that 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, a beautiful premieres today, Mina and uh, Massey boys, they did a planetary thing. I really know the Jeremy's one. Sorry Mina, Jeremy's one was my favorite from today. <laughs> Show pony. Uh, let's be more careful, maybe with that part yeah come on yeah no 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 Maybe I can try that tomorrow. <laughs> what do you think about this idea? To leave the napkin and then swipe it on the water side. So, I will try that tomorrow, Raiko. Okay? Okay. Up. Let's leave that up. I will go a little mm -hmm. over that side and I already didn't do a great job I think. Yeah, yeah, Flowers are looking much better than before. No, again, you see this middle part? If Raiko suggested to, to do, you know, lift my napkin that way, but it will not be a reflection then, they will be in different way, but doesn't matter because we will use a comb anyway to do...
Let's do that. Should I add a little bit of these pigments on the... Just a little bit. So let's go. No. It's totally... I don't know. And now I have a problem. Should I go back? Should I stay or should I go? I will not go anywhere, but... Oh, I dripped blue here. Should I go up, down? Sing it! Sing it, girl! <laughs> um, probably if I would go down, it would keep more of this pattern, but it will not look like a water. I want to, but I really like those. I will show you a close-up when you will see those, you know. I'm just thinking if I have to do one different uh, on the other way I'm just trying here I have to do it with left hand also do the gory and I see they would do gory the grimlock some let's go the other direction to I don't know. Okay. Hmm? Okay. Is it going to be Okay, I will leave it like it is. Interesting. When I will show you a close up, you will see. I will just bring. My other painting here that I can show you a close-up and I will uh, yes but I have to fix this one a little bit more because it's just so weird now it's a butterfly but it's okay okay so I will take it down just in a second. Zoom on Shlaraiko Stastransko. Up. I just want to show you something. <laughs> Flora, Nera. Flora. Say hi. <laughs> uh, okay, back to the painting. Oop, just a second. Rajko, a long watch you preklopish me luch. Luch. I have a glare, just a second. Rajko will switch the. Okay, better. So, this is the first one. <coughs> kind of reflection still not there still not sure what to do to get the the real reflection but you see this middle looks kind of cool now too it's like a waves or something definitely a mistake with the flowers with the second one but they kind of look like tulips or something. But maybe it would be even better with this technique to do a portrait side because I don't know. I will try tomorrow the portrait side too. And this is the one with ripples. 
I really love those ripples. Have to say. Uh, because you can see all those kind of rings and the flowers look much better with the second layer of white for my taste and this copper will really dry nice so I don't know maybe maybe I can try next time one two just you know with adding some just little flowers in the blue and leave the, the, the dry napkin clean napkin so but pretty much happy with this experiment I have to say so I will say a big 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 thank you to everyone who who was here and who subscribed to Amadeus channel so I will call this done that we can go to Sarah's premiere and see you on the next one bye